welcome to the screening of Telepathic Telephones in Chicago. Yeah. Are you excited? Oh, I'm extremely excited. This is going to be amazing. Crispin Rosencrantz. Hello. Yeah, but I'm not Josh Graff. I'm uh, whatever I'm fucking. Fuck you. I just want to say Natalie's art is very, like, um, intricate. I can tell because I've cut out stencils a lot. And um, very, like, small cuts, you know. And, and the material looks like it's gold, you know. Like she's doing the whole Miami Vice bling. But it's like some kind of like paper. Paper, it looks from far away. Where do you find this, this material? <laughs> do, you have, do, you have a, do you have a secret one? Dick Blick. Blick. They changed their name to Blick and they dropped the dick, but it's still Dick Blick in my eyes, so. <laughs> A serious interview. Natalie? Natalie, will you let me do a serious interview with you? Okay. Very serious. Show it. Show it. Serious. Um, you made the art right here? Well, I really like it. Um, you cut it out by hand? It looks like hand cut out. Hand drawn. I'm going to point to the part you cut out. I'm going to point to the part you cut out. Do you use an ex exacto knife? Surgical scalpel. Oh wow! Yeah. You got that at the um, um, Science Surplus store? My dad gave it to me. Oh wow! Wow! Uh, you consider that to be a, a collaboration? No, it's just you know. Is this like a birthday party video? I don't know. Okay, I guess not then. <laughs> Serious interview. Yes. Okay. Um, would you like to point other shit out in your art that maybe I didn't notice? Miami Vice. Okay. You ever watch that show? Yeah, yeah. Um, Magnum PI. Tom Selleck is right there. Okay. I'm gonna show the five. mustache, the, the, the Detroit Tigers hat. And uh, Murder She Wrote. Okay. I see you observing the serious interview. What do you think about it? Do you, uh, you like? She's a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyle. Come here, Kyle. Kyle. Come. You know, because I, I, I ran out of questions, and, you know, use, use your erudition. I support the ideas of uh, friendship and love, and um, and um, this seems like a very hostile room for that. And I don't think my interview will be very well appreciated. <laughs> Anybody else that made art around here? What is this interview for? Up. You didn't answer me. Keep saying static nothing machine. I'm the devil. Static nothing machine. Static nothing machine. Static nothing machine. Sam and Lester and Rudy were sitting the elephant like two Apparently, you uh, made these. Multimedia projects right here? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta, gotta pass through. Yeah, let's see the. It's kind of like a, like a static nothing machine on the left. Is that, is that, a, is that a static nothing machine? Uh, yeah, sure, you know, whatever the real answer that you want to make up in your mind to conclude the question, if you want some circles to bounce off of, like bouncing off. Okay, it's, it's a static nothing machine. Um, how do you make the um, stack nothing machine? Uh, just put some paint on it. And, uh, oh, yeah. Just put some paint here and there and decide to figure out how it works, you know? And then I press the power thing. And it goes like that. Are you uh, Timmy Vulgar? Or is the, or is the project? Um, this is what I did. for. This is for one of my friends. 
This is a portrait of one of my friends. He's one of the most brilliant artists you'll find. You'll find him in Detroit. And there he is. There's his, there's his hair on the back. His name's Timmy Volger. There he is. And I'm Mac Blackout. And I make these. And these. Mac Blackout. Mac Blackout, I understand that you made these pieces on the wall as well? Yes, I did. You like to um, tell me about this baby right here? Oh, I, I just made a flyer for our show uh, a couple days ago on New Year's, and you know, that's just kind of the thing that comes out, you know? Hams and Schlitz? Uh, which one do you prefer? Do you, do you drink this? Hams or Schlitz? Both. Both, both. You see the baby? Uh, he can't choose. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's yeah, getting hams. rid of the ham, so he's so like, I'm gonna drink that shit. Moving on. Is his, that's his bad breath or his soul or whatever is coming out. Hmm. You know. Mickey, Mickey Nuns. Uh, is yeah, is Mickey, that the name, name of the show? Yeah, Mickey's that's the name of the band uh, you played with. Of, yeah, it's one of my bands. And then uh, Nuns is another really great punk band from Chicago. Um, you should check them out. Um, tonight, um, are you playing Sunday with it? Are you. Um, any of the bands playing tonight? Other Chicago bands that you you have played with before? Uh, just us, uh, Mac Blackout band. Uh, as far as the art that I did. Okay. But, um, but as far as tonight, um, are any of these bands you've collaborated with um, performing tonight as well? Uh, not the ones that I've collaborated with, but uh, you know, the, they're uh, our hometown heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Mac Blackout. Static nothing machine, static nothing machine, static nothing machine. Are you here to play in the band? Yes. What do you play in the band? Uh, guitar. Okay. What's your band called? Slushy? C Batters. Oh, C Patterns, okay. Uh, are you playing with uh, my friend over here in Slushy? Are they, uh... uh no, they play in, uh, right here together, um, a separate band. It's not playing tonight. Okay, okay. Is, is the drink here, are you drinking, uh, brewed here? Is this, uh... Okay. Are you drinking the, the brown ale? No, it's the cider. Okay, it looks very uh, thick. It is. Is it? Yeah. Hobby cider. Okay, hobby cider. Yep. Show it. Show it. You know, it's got got a, a head going there. Yep. Pretty tasty. Show the show, show the uh, the tap. Oh yeah. Straight from there. You come to a, a Tom Zarzaki directed film showing, and filming, and they have their own drinks. Powell's Brew House. Yeah, my name is Josh. I, uh, I brew these beers 10 gallons at a time uh, for Powell Brew House. Uh, I'm just a home brewer, so I just bring it out to BYOB, BYOB events and share it with people, you know? Okay, I was talking to one of the guys in the band about the cider he was drinking. It looked very thick and hoppy and a yeah. uh, big so head on it, you know? This cider, um, uh, we're kind of using it just as kind of a dry base to, to show off some different types of hops. So we have like a, a galaxy hop in there this time. Uh, it gives it a big citrus punch. Kind of like an IPA you would have, except for it's just an apple base instead of the grains in the beer. Okay, yeah, so you uh, you dry hop it, or is there any kind of uh, uh, process that goes through? Oh, well, so for all my beers, I make them on my balcony. So 10 gallons at a time is the batch size, so very small. Um, I use just cut off 15 gallon kegs. Uh, to boil the beer in on my balcony. So, uh, is this the prime? Is this the prime place where you serve it? Yeah, we uh, we kind of try to do a couple of shows here a month. Usually we have bands play, you know. Um, yeah, the auxiliary center. We also pour out at uh, Uncharted Books, which is uh, uh, what is that? Right in Logan Square for congrats on your success. Uh, that's a comedy event. It's every first Thursday. I'm EM39 here, and I'd like to know what do you think about my name? Uh, it's great. Yam or Yan Yam? <coughs> Yams. Yams, not like the candy thing, candy dippers. You got some Yan Yam? I've got um, a pirate necklace. But I thought I'd take it out during the awesome movie. Do you, um, what's actually called awesome? Uh, what do you think about that, about the French, the French uh, piracy? There's a long history of French piracy uh, dating back to the 17th century. Uh, many uh, Spanish galleons filled with a great many uh, uh, bullion were uh, uh, intercepted by uh, French pirates who uh, ruthlessly wore candy necklaces.
No, I'm not gonna rap for today. Rap. <laughs> well, we'll get to your rap, you know. Do you rap? No, I don't. You hope that. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I have nothing important to say. I, 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 I'm not drunk enough for this. I'm not drunk enough for this. I'm not drunk enough for this. <laughs> There's a microphone in the bag. Wait a minute. Talking into a bag. Wait, is this actually looked up? Come on in, buddy. Tom tells me that your photography has cat piss in it. it. It does. It does. My cat worked on worked on the art. Um, yes. You let the cat like walk around the art, just kind of hang out. No, it was an accident. He, uh, he he thought it was it was a litter box. I had a box of negatives, and uh, he he mistook them for his litter box, and it. After about five years or so, it looked, it looked pretty good. I thought it looked pretty good. Hey, so, um, I haven't seen the photographs yet. Is it a, d a distorted uh, photograph uh, chemically? Is it uh, chemical? Yeah, they look like they look like uh, like bursting bursting flames or like some evil evil orb. And it, it went well with the the subject matter. The the acid in the the cat pee. It's here for Vegan America. Why is he getting behind me? So Josh wants to know about something. Josh wants to know about a story I have. It was uh, 2012. Tom Zarzaki, that guy. Look at him. Who does he think he is? He thinks he's uh, Buffy Luciano from you know the old Chicago uh, Capone days. He's kind of like Joe D'Alessandro from the Andy Warhol. Um, I can only speak from what I've factory. experienced. But in my short life. not. Yes, he is. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at them. By the social That's Joe D'Alessandro from the Andy Warhol days. But anyway, so he played this film. It's called The Curse of the Death Cat, and there's like two hours of incredible nonsense. Lost interest. And it was as if it was 1994, but no, it was 2012. And there was no like reality with this. Anyway, so at the very end of it, a um, Christmas tree, a pink Christmas tree, drop dies, and I laugh like I've never laughed before in my life. I just gave away the ending of his movie, but it was incredible how much I hurt. Using the money and for that, I'm here tonight. That they have stockpiled by selling I mean, dreams that, that, that was a long time ago, but that's what started all this. And, a and then there's been a couple years in between. And maybe like two and a half years in between. But anyway, I haven't laughed since. Make me laugh, make me laugh, make me laugh. Sorry to override your audio levels. I hope there's an automatic limiter. Portrayed Good. Josh? Portrayed as a Ladies and gentlemen, that's some comedy right there. I hope you laughed. Portrayed as an archaic pastime. Laugh graph. A pointless pastime. Static nothing machine. No, just like the more people pay attention, the less the earth revolves around the none of the sum of the sun. Right. And the moon runs around with the earth, and the earth runs around with the sun, and then the sun runs around the Milky Way. Just for fun to say again and again and again, the balloons go up and down, all around some sound will appear from their souls to your brains trying to tell your soul, oh, let me think about it first. But yeah, no, there's that's nothing, nothing high about the cliff. The cliff is very I'm shallow. It's this. not very far at all. You hear me? It's I'm as sick. far as, like, you know, gravity will take. And there's nothing level about a surface whatsoever. No, it's completely unlevel. Try walking against the wind. Yeah, it's it's like this. It's not level at all. Hey. Straw. And one, two, three, and one. It's Crispin, dog. I have to pee. You're on your own, Mr. Guy, man. Alright, so suddenly oh I stopped talking to myself.
<laughs> Coconut vodka. Mm. Not bad. It's very good. What do you know? Uh, not much. Just got a cast iron skillet. What time did you to get that? I wanted one for Christmas. Didn't get one, so decided to get one. Fulfillment. Uh, it's, a, it's a good one. It is a good one. I already made a steak and a grilled cheese on it, so we're going to eat it. Revenge the hamburger. I have been told that, although this guy seems to be in the band section, that the guy of the course is right here. Are you are you the, the guy? One guy. No, oh, the, the guy in the band? I'm the guy in the band. What is, what's your band's name? Uh, the name of the band is Slushy. Slushy. Are you playing tonight? Yes. I like bands. Oh, I get to be in the band section, okay. Okay, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Anytime you want to sit, this stool's gonna be available. Okay. Machine, stack nothing 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 machine. Machine. Describing the aliens of the universe. And here's your host, Dr. Kristen Ro